Hello everyone. Today we will be doing something a little different. We'll be doing a pen haul. So I have a bunch of different kinds of pens and we'll be sampling them for you and telling you a little bit about them in case you're interested in buying some or just like to see the pretty colors. <laughs> so anyway, um, the first one we have is the Bic Marking Permanent Marker. So this comes in a variety of and these are really easy to acquire. Um, they're really cheap. You can buy them at like Target, at Walmart, um, and they're inexpensive and easy to find. So we're going to go through the colors. So um, we have most colors of the rainbow here. And I really like these because they are really good for making posters, for doing projects, adding color to them. If you're doing a presentation and you want to add some color to what you're doing, these are great for that. They have thick tips. They color very easily. Um, they also provide a variety of colors. And I really like blues and purples. Um, well, greens, blues, and purples. So for me, this is really nice because it comes with multiple shades of each. And... Uh, so it comes with lights, it comes with darks, and that just, you know, widens the variety of colors and the choices that you have. So these are great for doing posters, for making signs, for coloring in large spaces and areas. They're a Sharpie brand. They have um, a fine tip, but if you use them a lot, like I use this black one, it can dull down a little bit. Um, they're soft tipped, easy to use. So, yeah, they're just, they're big. You can find them at uh, Target, at Walmart. Um, really easy to find. They come in huge packs like this. Like, this was all one pack. Um, and they're usually pretty inexpensive. So, yep. Alright, so the second kind of pen I have for you today is the Paper Mate Flare. This is a fine-tipped felt pen. They are great for note-taking, for lettering, um, and I really like them. I bought them specifically for taking my math notes. Now these I like a lot because they come in whiteboard color markers, uh, whiteboard marker colors, um, and so if your teacher takes uh, writes notes in different colors. If you color code your notes, these are really good for following along in class. Um, additionally, they come in pastels. They come in neon colors. So these have a great variety and they are really fine, fine tips, uh, clean lines. So here's the green. It's kind of a darker green. Most, most of these colors are a little darker. There's blue, uh, the purple is very dark, but very clean, makes, it writes very nicely. Uh, black, and lastly we have red. So, I like these a lot. They're really good in class, if that's kind of your thing. If not, they would be really good for doing lettering, for or drawing, uh, for doing detail. Um, yeah, so I like them. I would really recommend these. I bought these at Target. You can probably find them at Walmart, um, or any place like that. Any generic kind of store. They're not hard to find. So, again, these are the Papermate Flare. They're really nice in my opinion. They're not too expensive, but they're more expensive than the Sharpies. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend those for class, for sketching, for drawing, for fine detail. So next we have these, and you've probably seen these yellow pens around. Uh, they're very popular. These are Stabilio. They are a 0.4 fine tipped pen. They come in so many colors, really. Um, I just happen to like the blues and purples, and... So these are the colors I chose. Um, these have a finer line than 
the type pens that I showed you. They write very easily. They're very good for sketching, for filling in small spaces, adding accents um, in sketches, in things like that. So I like them a lot for drawing or for uh, doing projects where you want the lettering to be really nice, um, very clean, very fine. That's what I use these for. They have a massive variety of colors, so they're really great for anything. Um, and they're pretty, they're pretty cheap. Uh, I found these at Artists and Craftsmen. They are a little more expensive than the last ones I showed you, but definitely worth it if you want some nice high quality pens for drawing, for sketching, is what I would definitely suggest these for. Um, for writing in, if you write in books, I know a lot of people don't like to do that, but if you do, these are great for that because they um, have fine tips and can fit in the small space in the margins. They're great for writing too, just in every day. Um, but I would probably recommend the most for drawing. I like them a lot, but you can choose any colors. They have large varieties of colors any place that they sell these. So, All right, so I also have these. These are gel pens. They come in a pack um, of this. This was a package of this many. Um, they are the um, basic brand. So I actually found these at a rest stop somewhere in New Jersey. <laughs> Um, not really sure where to tell you to find them, but they, they were pretty inexpensive. Um, you can probably find them at any kind of craft store. They have a gel tip, uh, rollerball tip, but a gel pen. So they also come in a variety of colors. These I found were really good for coloring. If you do adult coloring books, I used to, but they're them. They're really good for that because they come in a nice variety of colors and they're really simple, easy to carry around pack, um, transportable, easy to use. They've got these really comfortable grips um, and they have the fine tip for detailing for coloring in spaces for more complicated drawings and things like that. Um, I really liked them and used them a lot when I did all of that. Definitely if you're into that I highly suggest these. If you just want to color with pens or do detailing in art I would also suggest these. They're really nice, they're very simple, they've got very comfortable grips. So I know that I mentioned I got some, I got uh, these new pens for note taking. <laughs> it says right there. Uh, these are my old pens for note taking. A lot of them started to run out of ink, but these, let me tell you, these are high quality pens. I would suggest these for almost anything. They have a really nice and easy um, stand up case that makes it really easy to write with them to um, hope, keep keep going, keep writing uh, uninterrupted. So we are going to show you these. So there's a really nice black. Uh, now these are not really meant to be colored with. They are definitely more meant to be written with. Um, but they they're really nice. I really like these. They have a com the really comfortable uh, triangular shape here. I, I mean, I used these for years and never got tired of them. They ran out of ink before I was ever able to want to replace them for any other reason. So this is definitely a great brand to get. Um, they have very fine felt tips and they're just they're great for writing okay next we have these pens so these are another one of my favorite pen packs comes in a nice um, plastic container not as durable as the other plastic container but still nice 
So these are the Zebra brand. They're 0.7. Um, they come in a beautiful variety of colors here. And as I mentioned before, I really like purples and blues. So let's tell her. So here we have a nice purple. These are very glossy pens. They write extremely easily and they're just, they're beautiful. They, they have very shiny, beautiful ink. Um, I don't know what it is with my reds today, but they don't want to write. Um, they come in some more obscure colors, like this nice maroon. I really like this one. Um, deep maroon that you don't get to see very often in pen colors. Um, there's this bright, bright green. And um, there's a dark green. They come in some nice deep colors, like the deep maroon, the deep green. They have three different shades of blue. That is the kind of gray blue. That first one right here is the gray blue. Then we have the nice um, solid blue. It's a little bit brighter. It's a little bit deeper. Here we have a very, very dark blue um, right there. Almost black, but dark blue. And then here we have a nice black. So the thing I really like about these is that they're very glossy. Um, they're very nice for some colors you don't always get to see, like bright purples, um, the, the maroons, the greens, and three different shades of blue. Um, they're, they also have very comfortable grips, very easy to use. They flow very easily, the ink flows. Um, I have no complaints about these pens. I love these. The only thing about them is that they are gel, so they will smear a little bit, but as you can see, this is already dry and does not smear. Directly after you write with them, if you go, they might smear. Here, I'll even show you. So, if you go like that, um, it smears a little bit. You can actually see it right there, but generally, it doesn't smear very much, um, which is really nice. See, there's only a little bit of black right there. Um, so they dry pretty quickly, but they still give you that glossy feel on your paper. This is probably the most expensive pen I own. It is a Tombow Mono Drawing Pen. This is the one, so this is the smallest one they had. Um, it has a very fine point, as you can see. Um, for some size comparison, <laughs> That, that's a dot. It's tiny. It is so tiny. Um, I mean, you can, you can see those dots. It is the finest tipped pen. It's really, really great for, for drawing, for sketching. Um, I like to use it a lot for the detailing on drawings and the outlines. Um, and then going back in later and adding some accenting, I actually really like to use these for the accenting. Um, but this is, you, this, this is a really nice pen. I like it a lot. It's great if you want to start sketching with pens, if you want to start drawing with pens. Um, this is not the only one they have. They have a three and a five. So this is the smallest version. Um, if you feel uncomfortable with the small size of this tip, um, then you can get a larger one. But they're a really high quality pen and I like them a lot. I also got this one at Artists and Craftsmen and it's probably the most expensive pen I own. It's more expensive than all the other ones I've showed you, but um, if you spend a lot of time drawing and you want a good pen for it, then this would be a really nice one. Please comment below about any of these pens or about your own pens. Um, if you like this, please let me know what you think. And if you want to have any more information about these, please feel free to ask questions and I will uh, come back and answer. Additionally, if you liked this video, please like button, 
Um, so let me know to make more like this and so I can get some feedback from you um, about whether you liked it or not. And lastly, if you like this and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. I make new videos um, every Thursday, uh, sorry, Friday or Saturday. And um, yep, I make all kinds of different videos. I make vlogs mostly. Um, I have started doing hauls. Like I said, this is my first one. Um, we'll probably do some more, and I also do some crafts, which I will start doing more of. So I'm going to try some new different things, um, so please let me know what you think, and subscribe to my channel for more. Um, I will see you all next weekend. Um, have a great weekend, and goodbye.